Flying low cost is awesome because it's low cost. And today we will show you some tips and tricks to get your cheap flight. So one thing you can do is to first go to a platform like uh, Skyscanner or eDreams where that kind of uh, matches connecting flights for you. And search for the cheapest one. But if you're gonna click that cheap, super, extra cheap flight and you're gonna book for it, then you will have some extra taxes. Then you have the luggage so you will have some additional extra taxes. Then you will push the button buy and then they will say you have taxes for this other reason and then it will end up like at least hundred dollars more than the show price. Another very important thing is to search your flight with uh, on incognito or with a VPN. Because then they, are, they won't like spy on you because if you uh, for example, find uh, a flight, let's say, from Berlin to London for a certain price. If you check the next day, the same flight will be more expensive because they can see that you have been searching that flight, so they know that you're interested and they're going to raise the price. A very cool website, which now is uh, powered by Google, is matrix.etasoftware.com. And there, um, you can search for, like, let's say you want to fly from Berlin to London then you can search for airports within any desired radius within those two, two cities so that you can find, uh, so you have like a better chance of finding cheaper alternatives. And the thing with this website is that you cannot book the ticket through their website. So they really don't have interest to, to put like low fur and then they add taxes or, or things like that. You just see the price you go to the website, to the Fly Airline website, and you book your ticket. If you're flexible with the dates and flexible with the airport you're flying from, then uh, just spend a little more time searching online for your ticket and you'll find a cheaper one. Exactly. We hope this was helpful for you. And uh, happy travels. Bye. Bye.